I want to make a counter, a seven segment display, and a binary display. That's what we want to do. All right, let's do it. How are we going to go about doing this? Hmm. Well, first, we're going to need some tools. I need a... I need a... Uh, Where is that? I need a uh, my switch. Ah, there it is, right in front of me. I'll click on the switch. And two switches. I also need a ground. Click on the ground and place it on the board. Next, I need a counter. My counter is over here. There it is. I also need my seven segment display that's here and pal. Last but not least, I need my LEDs. One, two, three, and four. That's what I need. And it looks like that's what I've got. Let me make a few small changes here. I want the switches to be counters, uh, push buttons, pardon me. And this switch also to be a push button. So I click on momentary, and there we go. Uh, it looks pretty good to me right now. So, put this here, have that here, and like so. And one, two, three, and four. I'll move this over. And, oh, one more thing. I'm going to need uh, some text. I click on the text tool and I put it there. Now, I double click on the text. Here comes the screen. I change him to an 8. I want it to say 8. Let me copy him. 1, 2, oh, copy him right there. 3 and 4. 4 times. I'm going to change that fellow to 4. I'm going to change this fellow to, whoops, change him to 2. And this one, I'm going to change him to 1. Oh, some pretty bad typing. There we go. 8, 4, oh, that should be a 2. Back to remedial typing school for me. And there we go. 8, 4, 2, 1. Put this here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these wire these wires up together. So I go to my palette tool and click on the wiring tool and I connect LED four to pin three because that number is three, two, one, and zero. And now I connect pin three on the counter to pin three on the seven segment display led which i've labeled four connect that to pin two i connect of the counter i connect pin two of the counter to pin two of the seven segment display i connect the led labeled two to pin one of the counter and pin one of the counter to pin one of the seven segment display and LED number one to pin zero of the counter and pin zero of the counter to pin zero of the seven segment display. Whoops, I missed that one. Let's try it again. Huh. All right, uh, let's see, where did we go wrong? Oh, already done. That's fine. We didn't go wrong any place. And just right on top of each other, difficult to see. And this goes to pin zero, zero to zero. 
Okay, we're now all connected up with our LEDs and our seven segment display to the counter. I now have to connect the ground to this node right there. There we go. Now I connect this push button to reset and this push button to the count. There we go. We're set. Now, next thing I do is I'm going to run the simulation. And I get a zero here. When I click on this push button, it will take the zero that's in the counter, increment it by one. This LED will light up and this will be and the seven segment display will say one. Here we go. Bingo. There it goes. There it goes. I hit the push button again, it will add one to it, and two will light up, one will shut off, and it will show a two here. There we go. Two and a two. Hit it again, three. Two and one is three, and here's a three. Hit it again, there's a four, here's a four. Hit it again, five. Four and one is five, and there's a five. Again, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten is an A. Remember, this is in hexadecimal. Eight and two is A, ten. Again, eleven, B, C, D, E, and finally, F. Eight and four is twelve, and two is fourteen, and one is fifteen. And there's my F. Well, you know, if I hit the push button down here, reset, it goes back to zero. That is amazing. Thanks for watching, and so long from Hoboken Gear. Bye-bye now.